Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Course. And today in this video, we will discuss uh, question partition string into substring with values at most k. So in this question, we are given a string s, and we need to partition into good strings or, or a good substrings. So, so the first thing to note here is the string would be uh, in, would include only the numbers from one to nine. Uh, further, we are given one k integer, and we need to partition this string with a su such that the substring is less than or equal to k. So, a substring is a uh, is a part of a string uh, by continuous characters or without deleting any of the characters. So, a substring possible for this string one six five four six two r one six six five or one six five or one six five four. So, it will include substring will include continuous characters, continuous sequence of characters. So that's a substring. Further, we need to uh, so, uh, find substrings that are good. A substring is good if its value is less than or equal to k. So the first substring uh, one six is good because if it takes one six five, then its value would be greater than sixteen. So first substring would be sixteen. Then we take five fifty four because five sixty two would be greater than sixty. So next good substring is fifty four. Then six, then two. So Four substrings are possible whose uh, when all the values of the substring is less than or equal to sixteen, and we need to return minimum minimum number of such substring possible. So here uh, its its answer is four because we find four substring. Now uh, you uh, for this question also you may take one as a as a standalone substring, then six as second substring, five as second second sub then another substring, but that will increase the count. Instead of four, we would we can uh, get at most at most six substring because the length of this s is six. But we need to return minimum number of substring that are good. So we need to make substring as large as possible, but with a value less than equal to sixty or less than equal to k. So I hope you got the question here. Let's take a look at the second example. So we have first good substring possible is two because we can't take two and three together. It would be greater than five. Another substring possible is three. Then we take eight. Now uh, we can't take eight as a substring because eight is itself greater than five. Now the combination thirty-eight or eighty-one will be always greater than five. So no such uh, substring possible uh, where we can take eight uh, with a value less than equal to five. So here we simply return minus one. So let us now look at uh, a bit more understanding. Let let us look here. So here we are given one string. Let's say two, six, eight, nine, three, five, four. We are given let's say k equals to hundred. For an example, so what we uh, we would be try to make substring. So in the first substring we would include two. Two is less than equal to hundred. Yeah. Then we can try six. Six is less. When now twenty six. Twenty six less than hundred. Yeah. Then two sixty eight. No. So first substring possibly is twenty six. Now we will start from eight. Eight is less than equal to hundred. Yeah, then eighty nine. This is nine. Eighty nine is less than equal to hundred. Yeah, then eight ninety three. Eight ninety three. No, the another second uh, substring possible is eighty nine. Then starting from three. Yeah, uh, then thirty five. Yes, three fifty four. No, so we would stop at thirty five. And the last remaining is four. Yes, four is less than equal to k. Yes. So with this, so four substring here are possible uh, whose values are less than equal to k. So we would simply return four. You can also take two as a, a single substring six, eight, nine, three, five, four. But we need to find minimum such sub substrings possible. Okay, so uh, we would do it this way. So I hope you guys got the solution of how we would be solving this uh, question. So, uh, starting from this first uh, number i, we can check how many we can take in this current substring, and uh, wherever it which it is two sixty eight, we found a number that is greater than equal to k. Then we would stop. So this is the simple logic behind this question. Now let's move to the coding part. Sorry, let me clear this id. Now let's begin the code. So for what we were doing is for uh, all the characters from i equal to zero till the last character, we would take one uh, temporary string and initialize it as empty. 
but answer variable to count the number of partition or the number of substring possible what simply do is uh, we would simply make stamp uh, plus equal to s of i okay now if it is a greater that is uh, uh, so that uh, so, so the number stored in this stamp is greater than k what we would simply do we would increase i answer plus plus and we would start stamp equal to s of i so this is a simple case here so if uh, s of i is 268 then what uh, then this function greater function be written that 268 is greater than k so we would uh, make increment one answer variable we would start again from it yeah as you see here we started from h here so this is the thing we did here we will start from the number as we couldn't include in the in the previous substring okay and la let's code this boolean function greater we are taking one string as an int k so the number stored in string s is greater than k then we would return true okay now let me take one long long int number initialize the zero point i equals to zero i is less than s dot size i plus plus i will multiply number to 10 and increment s of i minus zero so what i did here is so let's say s s equals to 123 then what i did here so initialize number is zero and it's uh, as zero then and I would multiply it as 10 that would be 10 uh, so initially it n is 0 then multiplying by 10 it would be all 0 and then what I add, added added this first character that is 1 okay the next step what I would do is n equals to 1 into 10 that is 10 plus I would add 2 that would become 12 and in the third iteration what I would do is uh, at that point it would be 120 plus 3 so this is how I converted string 120 1 2 3 to the number 123 so i hope you got this logic now for and the last i would return if number is greater than uh yeah if if a number is greater than k then i would return true yeah i uh, i hope you got this so if a number is greater than this stamp i would return true and uh we'll start iteration from here can be equal to s of fine and in the end i would return this answer the one thing to note here is if we encounter any such number that is greater than k let's say uh, here 38 is greater than k so we make a partition between 3 and 8 right now uh, so now we have 8 as uh, character 8 in the temp here this character 8 in the temp now again if that character uh, temp stored in the temp is greater than k then we would simply return minus 1 uh uh so uh, here because this character we can't include anywhere further in this in any of the substring so we simply simply return minus one in that case okay now let me try to learn this okay it's giving some error okay we need to also call this function for the last let's say remaining what is remaining two is remaining so we need to call also call this function so for that what i would do is uh, if temp is not empty if a temp is not empty string and if uh, greater i would call this function temp comma k then i would simply return minus one so uh, this is a situation where let's say uh, our string s equals to one two three four Five and k equals to let's say five so here uh, we would uh, uh, all this condition would be written true for i i one so for this first character then second character third character fourth character but the last character is greater than this uh, sorry let's say the last character is six and six is greater than five so in that situation when ten is not empty and it is greater than k we would simply return minus one else what we would do we would simply increment our answer variable now let me try to run this okay all the test case now passed and now let me try to submit this 
so yeah it got submitted uh, so this was a easy question where we just uh, store the substring in this tank and we check if it is greater than k yeah if it is greater then we simply incremented the answer the answer would be the number of partition in this string and we would again start the string from the current character to make another substring right and this is the situation where we encounter any character uh, or any substring that is greater than k then we would simply return minus 1 because any because making a substring with that uh, character is not would be possible so that's all for the solution i hope uh, you understood the question thank you so that's all for this video i hope you guys like the video and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you